Hello and welcome to another episode of Screw the Cubicle TV. This is the channel to help inspire you to break free from the shackles of conventional work so that you can start creating a better version of your career and your life. Thanks so much for joining me because today I am talking about risk assessment. Um, I know a lot of you are sort of in the midst of transitioning from uh, being a corporate prisoner uh, to potentially freelancing or doing something different, right, with your life and your career. And the question that you're probably asking today as well, oh, I'm a bit scared to do it. Uh, what are the things that I need to think about in order to make me feel safe? So the first thing I want to say is that, you know what, everyone has different risk tolerance and that's cool. Uh, if you're a parent, if you're someone with a family uh, versus someone who's single and sort of have a little bit more leniency in budgets and things like that is really really a good place to start with being honest about what those safety zones are for you what are those risks for you so that you can assess them super healthy for your transition so that you can actually understand what the gap of knowledge and information that you need to get clear on in order for you to feel safe about taking the leap so the first thing to get real honest with yourself to start is really asking yourself the question of why do you even want to take the, the leap? Why is the risk in a way worth pursuing, right? The only way usually from going from here to there and you know, or your before and your after uh, to reach to a life or a way of working that you dream of is to really understand um, the reason why you would do that uh, and what you're willing to sort of exchange as an experience uh, to get where you wanna go. So get real clear on yourself what isn't working for your life right now. Um, I like to sort of take out a piece of paper and start to go, these are the things that are not working for me in my life, whether it's to do with your career, uh, the people you're working with, what you're working on, uh, the fact you have no time for your children, whatever are the sort of pain uh, around, uh, you know, remaining stuck where you are, all that needs to be almost, um, you know, taken out of your brain so that you can really see it on paper and understand your real reason to want to take a leap of faith and start to do the work that's necessary to make those changes for yourself. Once you know why, um, then you understand the exchange, right? I'm giving up a secured, you know, it could be an example of I'm giving up a secured uh, salary job because I know in my hearts of hearts, I want to be more creatively independent about what I put out there in the world. And I want to figure out how to do that. And that's super important for me uh, that aligns with my values, right? So you know that every decision that you're going to make that is outside of what your reality is today is worthwhile. It's worthwhile to go through the learning process. It's worthwhile to make those changes uh, when you truly understand why and what's motivating you to make the, the change and the leap that you desire. So how do you reduce the risk of your career change and your transition? Well, the first thing is very simple. Don't quit your job, right? I think that most of us, uh, unless we're in a job that absolutely eats at our well-being and it's so unhealthy that we have to get out, uh, sometimes it's okay to admit that I just need to get a different job, uh, a better, healthier job, as I transition uh, towards launching something of my own, right? You can absolutely use your job, the security of your job, to be in a less pressured place to make these big decisions in your life. And there's actually a lot of things that you can be doing in the meantime uh, to prepare for your leap uh, when you're still in a full-time job. So your job really is, can be sort of the funding baby, you know, for your side hustles, for your business ideas that you want uh, to start creating. Um, the second thing is that when you're working full time, um, you can find the time and I know you've got time and you have to remove a lot of things from your schedule, but really get mindful about whether it's weekends only or certain evenings of the week where you're not feeling pressured with work to start to focus your attention towards your own dreams and your own goals and the learning process it takes to get good with what you have to offer, what would you do to make a living and learn, you know, all these new things that you're now incorporating into your new career. And when you're in a full-time uh, position, um, you can still be launching something on the side. You can still be um, creating what they would call a side hustle of a sort of experimentation or a testing of the certain types of skills that you mentioned that you would like uh, to make a living from. And that's the best way to do it. Not to do the website stuff, not to go all, all out and sort of build a brand around things right now, but strictly experimenting with what you love doing in the sort of variety of skill sets that you think you would like to do. Take on some free clients, show, uh, show your skill sets to the world in some capacity by experimenting and testing out your skills to know what you truly um, you know, love doing and likes you up doing. And then this piece of you know, 
transitioning slowly while not quitting your job uh, is a great opportunity for you to use this as sort of buffer time, right? To save up money, to budget uh, for your living expenses. Uh, let's say for me, for example, was six months of living expenses that made me feel safe. For you, it might be a year, maybe three months, whatever that is for you, you should really know the numbers of what your break even point is uh, and what is the sort of non-negotiable expenses that you do have to pay for uh, and what that real number is so that you have a goal to meet and utilize the time of being full-time employed to save up for your uh, cushion pot as I call it for when you take your leap and lastly how can you today get comfortable with taking risks and my advice is start small don't go all out most of us in the everyday world aren't one of those people that can just jump off a cliff and hope the parachute opens I myself, even five years of being an entrepreneur, I am a very calculated risk person. And I think that's what makes me feel safe and that's what continues uh, to create progression uh, even in the things that I do differently every single year. So you want to ease your way into confidence. You don't have to be, you know, the Gary V's of the world where you just jump and you just know exactly what to do. You may not be built that way and that is okay to honor that side of you and you want to build your confidence as things go through. So real small bite-sized steps, maybe it's just one thing that you do every single week that you honor towards your dream that will cause the next week to be even bolder for you, right? To do something a little bit, um, you know, a higher level or a little bit more expanded version of your ideas. Um, so bite-sized steps, incremental steps absolutely leads you to big results, but it is the consistency of doing those small little changes that will become eventually a big change, a big transition for you. Um, and when you do that, you get to see the evidence, right? When you do something new for the first time, you saw that you didn't fall on your face, you saw that nothing blew up in your face, you're going to get braver and you're going to do more next time. So keep that honor of doing that for yourself in a comfortable level uh, and know that as time goes by, as you do more of it, you will be get more, more brave and courageous. Um, and lastly, don't forget to ask for support. You can't do this alone. You're in territories that you've never been before. Of course, right? All of us will be fearful of the unknown. So absolutely get mentorship and support, whether it's a coach that can help you, a friend that's going through the same journey that can keep you accountable to your dreams, or simply join um, you know, a group, right? A mastermind group or even a free Facebook group community. I have one called The Unconventionalist that you can join. Um, that will absolutely get you in front of like-minded people that don't think your ideas are crazy, that believe in your dreams. And I think that can absolutely really help you move through those risky circumstances of what you perceive as risky and into a much more braver expression of your life. All right, so today we talked a lot about assessing your risks in your career change and your transition and reducing the risks of your career change in small bite-sized steps. And I spoke about certain key points that you need to think about and start preparing for before you take the leap. So I wanna really help you get this going and uh, put your uh, everything you learn, put theory into practice, because uh, I think action is what is going to be the difference of you reaching your dreams and not reaching your dreams. So I want you today to be able to download a freebie that I've created just for you. Uh, it is a three-part video series to help you transition from taking the leap. There's gonna be a lot of exercises around uh, actually getting your finances in order, understanding your skill sets, uh, and really knowing your why, you know, your motivation to leap. All the things I talked about on this video, you can absolutely work on it through my three-part three part video series, which is free for you today. Uh, and I hope you download it somewhere um, in this video or down here <laughs> in the video as well. Well, thank you so very much for joining me for another episode of Screw the Cubicle TV. Uh, you guys watching are the reason why I film. So please leave me a comment. Let me know what you enjoyed from this video and what could I film for you to answer your burning questions. Uh, and you'll be surprised and uh, or maybe not surprised that I'll be filming something just for you uh, the next round. Thanks very much and see you later. Hey, thank you so very much for watching Screw the Cubicle TV and don't forget to subscribe below to get all the latest cubicle crashing content on how to quit your nine to five and create a life and business on your own terms.